Hi everyone. Can you all hear me? Okay, great. Okay, just let me adjust a little. I am a little bit far away, or rather, it's cutting into the. Okay, just have to look at that. Okay, great. All right, everybody. I am going to. It's good to be back. Okay, um, we had a rest yesterday because we we're all busy trying to, you know, pack um our equipment and to go back home. So you're gonna see a lot of my cooking at home. And um, next week, we're going to have also my colleague, Rachel, who is a nutritionist, where she'll be also joining us and conducting some of our sessions. Okay, so um, firstly, hi. <laughs> Let me just adjust and so that I can see my participants and my, um, the viewers and to see if they can also uh, log in. Okay, let's let me have a look now. Okay, so if you had seen my, um, okay, if you had seen my live just now, all right, um, we are actually going to do up a cauliflower dish today, all right. So a little bit about cauliflower is that a lot of uh, viewers will ask me what's the difference between cauliflower and also um, broccoli. Well, um, a lot of times we hear our nutritionists telling us that you know um, broccoli is actually healthier. Why? Because it's actually darker in green and hence when it's darker in colour, the vegetable will be healthier. Well, um, then again, cauliflower has also its good nutrients. So it's actually exceptionally high in vitamin A, C and K. So this is also a plus point where we also would like to eat cauliflower um, to add into our diet. Why we are cooking cauliflower rice is this has also really been the craze for quite some time and our cauliflower can really um, you know, absorb a lot of um, the flavour when we are doing it and plus also, okay, so cauliflower, okay, later on I'll tell you how this is done. Okay, cauliflower, it's white, so it resembles white rice, okay, and the consistency when you chop it up will look like that. Alright, so to make cauliflower rice, this is how it should be done. Okay, so I will show it to you how we're going to do it using a blender. Alright, so we're going to chop it up like that. Okay, next we also have okay the just, okay next we also have the carrots okay so for carrots wise um we have the chopped carrots over like that okay so the carrots wise um it's really high in vitamin A so we like to chop it up because it will look a little bit more like our fried rice you know the consistency would look the same we also have here our French beans okay so for French beans um, this is how it looks like all right uh we can use long beans as well so for french beans it also has got a very good source of folic acid so that's um the reason why we also like to add in into our food mm -hmm. and uh, the difference between long beans and french beans is that uh, long beans are actually more fibrous so um sometimes you know for cooking for children and for adults uh, for for older people we prefer french beans right um for the protein we're adding in some prawns and some garlic for its flavour and some spring onions. Okay. Um, the oil we're going to use today is actually sesame oil so this will be a little bit more oriental and Asian tasting and we're going to soy sauce. Okay. Alright, so let me just um, stick to my <laughs> viewers first. Just want to see that you know everybody is um, on. Okay. All right. Hi. Hello. Okay, there we go. All right. So how do we make this cauliflower into this consistency? All right. What you need to do is that you get a blender. Okay, I'm just going to show you. I just blended it right before our session. So I'm just going to show you how, you know, it looks like. So let's add it in. I am going to adjust it a little bit, okay? Because it is <laughs> it is very low. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit so that you can see me. You know, so this is a one woman show when you're working from home. Is this better? Is this better? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's a little bit on the hi Vincent, hello. Is this better? 
Oh yes, great. Okay, hello, thanks for the support. Okay, so just put it into the um, blender. Okay, and then... Okay. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty quick, but if you would like it, to, um, no, you can use manually, you can chop it up. That's fine also. So the reason why you want to blend it at like that, not too fine, because it not become a paste. Okay, so because we want it to resemble a little bit like our fried rice, so that's why we put it into this consistency. So, uh, how you want to replace this, or why we call it fried rice, because you can replace cauliflower, you can replace rice with cauliflower. So cauliflower is extremely low in calories, it's really high in fiber. Plus, um, if you compare it to white rice, white rice has got more carbohydrate, so then sometimes, you know, we can use cauliflower instead for the uh, for a staple okay all right so we are about done so what i'm going to do now okay is to heat up the pan and uh, we are going to fry our fried rice already so if you sometimes not especially if you want to work at home um doing this is actually a very quick meal just that sometimes for your cauliflower you need to balance it you need to chop it up earlier first okay but that's all right sometimes you know we sit in because we're at home for so long, so sometimes we don't really get um, our physical activity done. So eating some cauliflower in replace of your rice would be a better alternative. So it has been known to be high in fiber, hence it also keeps you full longer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is really to heat up the pan. Alright, okay, so um, we're going to heat up the pan first. So we're going to add in some sesame oil in here. I hope you have also stayed tuned and uh, joined our Telegram channel. And uh, you have seen that we have lined up an array of exciting events for you, both exercise and cooking, um, every day in month of April. So please join us. And uh, in May, okay, we'll also be you know, having a lot more other exciting um, programs. Right? So as you heat up the sesame oil, you know, you've got this very nice fragrance, which uh, it reminds us a lot about on Chinese cooking. So a lot of participants or viewers will ask me, what's the difference between sesame oil you know, and, and sunflower? Is sesame oil a better alternative? Well, basically sesame oil, it's, it's very fragrant, so it's widely used in our Chinese cooking. But in terms of this omega-3 or omega-6, or whether it has it got all the good fats, um, it is not that high, but it's not bad. Okay, so you can use this as, as sometimes while cooking, but I would rather that you use a a healthier oil sometimes, most of the time. So why we're using sesame oil today is really because of its um, Asian oriental taste, right? So it is okay to use that, right? So once the pan is heated up, we are now going to add in our garlic. Okay, so garlic. You know, every time we are doing our Asian cooking, right, we use a lot of garlic and um, onions. So if you have seen my earlier episodes um, or videos, I was telling you that you want to make your garlic really healthy and beneficial. What you need to do is to chop it up and let it interact with the air first. So the antioxidants and the, uh, the there's this um, substance called allicin, it will be released into the air. So that really makes it more effective as antibacterial, as an antibacterial property. Okay, so good for you to chop it up, just let it rest for a while. But most of the time, you know, we might want to prepare our ingredients in advance. So garlic should be the one you prepare first. Okay, so next, we are going to add in our carrots. So sometimes for stir fries, and uh, most of the time we do our stir fry, not sometimes, we will fry the harder vegetables first. Meaning to say those that are a little bit more difficult to cook first. Because we don't want to overcook those that are quite easy to cook as well. Okay, so let me have a look. Okay, um, Rachel has got a question. Do we need to wash and dry the cauliflower? Yes, you need to do that. Why? Especially when you buy fresh produce from the supermarket. Um, there are sometimes a lot of, you know, our, there are people who would look and pick and choose and all that. So, you know, they might have unclean hands. So it's always important you need to wash all your vegetables properly. But remember, when you wash your vegetables, what you need to do is that you will soak it first before you cut it. Okay, why? Because what you do, if you're going to cut it, you're going to increase the surface area of these vegetables and a lot of nutrients would be um, you know, coming out from the vegetables. So you don't want that to happen. Right? Unless you're preparing a meal for a person with chronic renal disease, you want to reduce the potassium, so then that's it. But for general population, you know, try really not to cut and soak. Remember, wash first before you cut your vegetables. Okay, I hope I answered your question, Rachel. So if I did, maybe you'll give me a thumbs up 
Okay, so I know that uh, my explanation has been clear. Okay, so as you can see, the carrots are changed in color, so we know that it's right about almost cooked. So we want it to retain its crunch, so we'll not overcook it for too long. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my French beans. So if you look at it, it's like a stir fry of vegetables, you know, but you should try it because it really has got this flavor where it's soaking all the um, soy sauce, goodness of the vegetables, and it brings a different taste to the to, to having fried rice. Okay, so let's uh, just do this. Okay, yeah. Sometimes for stir fried vegetables, if you would like, you can add a little bit of water. So for it to you know simmer into your vegetables, but if not, that's okay. Also, that's alright. You know, so because later on we are going to add in our cauliflower. When after cooking, you know there might be a little bit more juice coming out, especially if you have a really good turkey. So this is the time where I will start to add in my cauliflower. Yes, that's right. It's very colorful. So it's a good mix of colors, and that will encourage um, more eating of more vegetables as well. Okay, so sometimes uh, I've got a question, so they will ask me, my viewers, right, sometimes will ask me, can I use broccoli instead? Uh, yes, you can do that, but then it's not going to be really called fried rice because, why we're calling it fried rice? Because when you cook it, when you grate it like that, it looks whiter, okay, so it looks like rice. Okay, so this is a time where it cooks pretty quick, so, you know, it will be more like, um, stir fry. So broccoli, you can do that, but it's not going to really look so much like fried rice because it's going to be really green. So broccoli can be uh, better off using it in other dishes as well. Okay. So next, I am going to now add in some soya sauce, which is the reduced salt soya sauce. So remember, I was telling you for reduced salt soya sauce, use it as you would use for like a regular soya sauce. So do not use it, you know, like it's reduced salt, right? So when you taste it, it's definitely not going to taste as salty. But what we want you to do is really get used to it. So this will help reduce your um, salt intake. Okay? Alright, so this is how you will low. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more mushy already. Yeah, I hope you can see through that. And why? Because cauliflower has got a lot of water. So when you cook it, a lot of the moisture will come out. So there's no need to add in any more water. Okay? Okay, now next we're going to add in our prawns. You can add in other, any other protein you like. Fish, salmon, you can add in. You can add in pork, you can add in you know, seafood. It goes pretty well because these vegetables are really quite um, neutral tasting. So it doesn't matter if you want to add in other things as well. Okay, alright. So I am now going to just stir fry it. So for prawns, uh, sometimes you know they will ask me, my viewers will ask me, are prawns really high in cholesterol? Um, the prawn meat on its own is not high in cholesterol, but the head is. So you need to leave out the head. Now don't um, take the juices. Okay, so I know a lot of us, sometimes, you know, you'll be like, oh, that's the best part. But really, if you want to cut down on it, you should you know, not be doing that. Okay, so um, prawn meat on its own is um, rich in protein, also very high in iodine, which is good, important for metabolic rate. So eating some prawns, doesn't hurt that much, so it's fine. Okay, so this can be done. You, what you can do right for this is that you can cook it in a batch like this. Okay, cool it pretty well. Then you can freeze it in batches. So next time when you're really busy, you can just pop it, uh, take it out from your freezer, thaw it, and then you're ready for a meal. So you can really store this as well. Right? So, okay, let me see if there's any other questions. Do you have the recipe pen down online too? Oh, um... Hi Cindy, Cindy, you need to join in to our, you need to download our Telegram channel. Then, in there, okay, first download your Telegram app. Then add in, uh, find our channel called Healthy SG. That's where all our recipes are in. Alright, so, and uh, we also post in our schedules, you know, and our recipes and schedules for both exercise and also our nutrition. So it's good for you if you want to. Um, stay tuned, so do that. Okay. Alright, so I am about done. I'm just going to scoop it out. Okay, and I'm going to try it as usual. Alright, and then later on, okay, we'll see how it tastes. So this is how my fried rice will look like. So if you would like for the rice, your cauliflower rice, to look a little bit more 
like rice, don't blend it so much. So it becomes more coarse. Right, so I am going to try it now. Hmm. Mm. The French beans are just cooked, has got this crunch. The carrots are also have this crunch. The cauliflower, sometimes, you know, we have um, sometimes we eat cauliflower and it's not too cooked. They have got this um, unique taste to it. But for this, it doesn't. It soaks in all the prawn, you know, the, the French beans and the carrot taste. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. Okay. Okay, so we have came to the end of our session today. I hope you enjoyed this fried rice. So please come on to our Telegram channel, our Telegram app channel is Healthy SG. Once you join in, you will not be missing out on all the other recipes and schedules. It's already in there. Okay, so you will not miss out by doing that. You will lose out or miss out if you don't go on to our healthy channel. Okay, okay so um, I and um, I will see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to cook something very exciting. It's actually mala udon. Okay, yay, mala udon. My mala fan, finally something for you. Right? So I will share a recipe later on for our healthy fried rice. Okay, it's cauliflower rice. Alright, see you tomorrow and enjoy your dinner.